Hey, as we watch the specially privileged high priests of the climate cult gather in Egypt to wax apocalyptic and spew nonsense in their increasingly dangerous zeal to control our lives, food, markets, and energy sources, let's take a moment to see a real, actual part of their story. That being their own hypocrisy about heating and cooling. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. As if the dyspeptic display of eternally irritable climate cultists arriving in private jets for the 27th conference of the parties, that being COP27 in lovely Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, as if that weren't enough of an in-your-face display of hypocrisy, soon after the globalist, internationalist UN fraudsters started their week-long ritual of false narratives, manipulated statistics, fear-mongering, plans to restrict our liberty, and to manipulate what should be a free market across the globe and actually take our cash in many cases, it became clear that those concerned doomsayers and repeatedly wrong prognosticators made sure to offer us another proverbial middle finger. These folks who welcomed Barack Obama's conceit in 2013 when he stated that if poor people in Africa raised their living standards to have nice life-saving things like air conditioning, then the planet would boil over. Well, all these folks are making sure that their giant complex of hotels, dining areas, meeting rooms, and media rooms are comfortably air conditioned. Peter Cattle reports for Breitbart that as folks in some of their home countries wonder whether they will be able to heat or cool their homes thanks to climate cult restrictions on cheap fossil fuel imports and in some cases because of politicians imposing insane thermostat controls on homes and offices, these busybodies attending this conference simply seem incapable of following their own rules. Quote, the energy use of temperature control technology has been a hot topic in Europe in recent months, with authorities in the likes of Italy and Germany having implemented various rationing measures on how much certain buildings can be heated or cooled over gas shortage fears. However, while others have also pushed such rationing with reference to climate change, no such restrictions appear to be in place in Egypt, with German publication Bild reporting that attendees of COP27 are being kept quite cool by air conditioning at the conference. Warms the heart, doesn't it? But this is nothing new. Last year, the attendees of COP26, which took place in sadly censorious Scotland, flew in on private jets and then had the gall to parade around Glasgow in electric vehicles that, behind the scenes, most of them were powering with diesel-run generators. <laughs> Cattle notes that the climate cult push for decarbonization in Germany, combined with its citizen-herding blocks of Russian fuel, have led to an energy shortage that is so extreme, quote, even tap water in public buildings used for washing hands will no longer be allowed to be heated using a boiler over the winter months, while contract clauses legally mandating that landlords heat their buildings to a certain minimum for the sake of their tenants have also been suspended. Ah yes, the smell of hypocrisy. Because meanwhile, many German leaders are attending COP27, and they have the audacity to complain that they are being monitored and surveilled by, they claim, the Egyptian government. Will they look into any moderately reflective surface, wipe off the air-conditioned condensation, and see their own hypocrisy on that issue as well? Will they recognize that even as they claim the power to monitor Germans for their energy use and punish them if they dare wash their hands with warm water, they themselves are upset that agents of the Egyptian state might be monitoring them 
for their own reasons? It is astounding to see this kind of doublespeak and hypocrisy. And it's all coming from the neo-pagans who, backed by Pope Francis, who seems to possess a limitless supply of hypocrisy and anti-Catholic rhetoric, are not only welcoming King Charles's goofy earth worship central control rewrite of the Magna Carta called the Terra Carta, but who also display the unctuousness to push for a new Ten Commandments for climate change. Perhaps now, as they go full on hypocrite, full on religiosity for their truth lacking, deceptive, anthropogenic climate change chicanery, yes, perhaps now, many more people will see the cult for the dangerous group of collectivist charlatans that it is. Of course, that might require people to use some energy which is in short supply thanks to many of those same politicians and bureaucrats. <laughs> and perhaps it'll become even more dear and more expensive if they get their carbon taxing, energy monitoring, neo-feudal way. Man, amazing. And of course, they don't want to debate. They do not want to debate. They just want to censor. Just like it was with the Cowabunga 19 thing. Amazing. Shut people down. Don't actually discuss. It's the classic song of tyrants and would-be tyrants. Hey, thanks so much for watching, non-tyrants. Please join us at Rumble where they don't censor us. And we'll see you at mrctv.org. And when you go there, please donate to help the Media Research Center in its 35th year. And of course, continue this great, great work on fighting the leftist media and fighting for freedom. You can also find us on Facebook at the MRC TV Facebook page, on Parler, yay Parler, on TikTok, Instagram, and on Twitter. And on Twitter, I am at Gard Goldsmith, and on Gab, I'm at Gardner Goldsmith. For MRC TV, thanks for being kindred spirits. I'm Gardner Goldsmith. <laughs>